That's beautiful. Man, I love the colors on these things. Haters gonna hate. Haters gonna hate. Hey, is this the one we're gonna take for that sandwich? Let me measure him. Yeah, that's about good. All right, cool. Dinner time, baby. What's up guys, it's your boy Brian, the CEO from CEO Fishing. Got another episode of Angler Spotlight today, and today I'm with Captain Jonathan. That You said not to call you Captain Jonathan? Or Captain Salty <laughs> Or Salty <laughs> 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 Today I'm here with Jonathan from Fishing with Salty, and uh, yeah, let's turn the camera on him and let him uh, talk a little bit. What's up guys, my name's Jonathan, uh, nicknamed Salty. I'm a captain on the west coast of Florida. We do inshore uh, charter trips anywhere from that country all the way to nine miles out. Tell them how long you've been fishing for. I've actually been fishing, I would say over 25 years. It all started at Anglin's Fishing Pier in Fort Lauderdale. How old were you when you started fishing though? I started fishing when I was, you know, I would say memorable fishing since I was 10, but definitely younger than I was 10. All right, and what kind of got you into it? Uh, what got me into it was actually, it was it was my parents' way of, of uh, of babysitting. They used to drop me off at the pier and I used to fish there all day until they were done with work. <laughs> That's that old school parenting right <laughs> That's there. That old school parenting. <laughs> That's the good now, stuff. Nowadays we can't do that because we can't afford to, to pay child services. <laughs> 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 we can't. We That's can't. abuse now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nowadays we can't afford to put them on the piers because they're so. Expensive. That's a loud golf cart. Yeah, it is. Look at that. <laughs> Dang. All right, now if you had to pick like one fish, what's what's your favorite fish to target? Uh, I would have to say my favorite fish to target inshore would be gag grouper. Gag pound grouper. Pound. Yeah, pound for pound, they're a great fish to fight, and the eating quality is just through the roof. I'd have to agree with him on that. That's some delicious fish. Today we did a little peacock bass fishing though. Yes. So nothing huge. Nothing huge, but it was a blast. Got to go with the best out of Miami, Brian. Second best. Him. Second best. <laughs> Second best, but uh, no, it was great. He uh, first spot we went to, uh, he checked it out. He's like, nope, we're not fishing here. Went to another spot and we were on him quick. All right, so check out this peacock bass fishing while I try and figure out what to say next. So uh, enjoy. We're on, man. <laughs> was it your first peacock bass in how long? About 10 years, bro. It, it's, it's probably your biggest <laughs> one, too. Look at that. <laughs> hey, we're micro peacock fishing I'm in Miami, baby. Fishing. It's a secret spot. Don't tell nobody. Don't tell no one. What exit is this? <laughs> <laughs> this is not exit 13 in Color Bay. <laughs> You know, I've actually gotten messages. Man, you guys suck you blow up spots. <laughs> that used to be a good spot until you guys <laughs> fished it out. I'm like, what are you talking about? I went there twice. <laughs> oh, that's a good, decent one. Oh. Here we go. Still a nice fish, man. Cheers, bro. Oh, yours is bigger. Yeah, that's messed up. It's bigger. That's just tough. <laughs> Double up peacock in Miami up. with the best. <laughs> Can't beat that. We're in North Carolina right now. I don't even know what this guy's talking about. Secret spot. I don't want to give away your spot. <laughs> if someone books you, what type of fishing can they expect to do? We catch snook, redfish, trout, um, a lot of mangrove snapper. We're, this time of year, we're catching a lot of uh, big gag grouper. And sometimes we dip into some goliath grouper fishing by the bridges and uh, really whatever else we can catch. Jonathan submitted some really cool footage to me and I was just showing Lexi on the computer right back there because um, I am literally editing this video right now. Um, but I wanted to stop and just talk to you. What do you think of that footage? It's really cool. You like those tarpon? Yes. Yeah, he's got some tarpon that are migrating and we're going to show you this footage here in a second. Um, but what I, I just want to say something about him is I'm a family man. I love my kids. This is this is my world right here. You know what I'm saying? And I know a lot of you guys out there are the same way and you want to share fishing with your kids and grow up and have it just kind of like a tradition and just be able to share that passion and love for fishing. And the first time I met Jonathan was when we filmed this this episode. I talked to him a few times online and stuff like that, but when I met him and we actually went out fishing and catching those peacock bass, I realized that this this guy's just like me. He's just like you guys, you know, he, he absolutely loves fishing, every aspect of the sport, you know, he's, he's in it 100%. So after meeting him, I realized this is the guy I can have my daughter on the boat and feel comfortable because, you know, 
after five minutes with rods in our hands, catching fish, I felt like I've known the guy for 20 years already. I really hope you guys are enjoying the series because this is about fishing, the love of fishing. You like fishing? Yeah. Yeah? See, I get to share it with somebody, you know? And that's what this is. It's just connecting all of us together so that we can all share this common bond that we've got, which is fishing. Enjoy the rest of this video and that's it. Just enjoy it, man. Enjoy life. <laughs> oh no, you're fish! this boat with you and go fishing on the west coast of Florida. Yep. Tell them how to get in touch with you. Well, you can call me on my direct cell, 615-977-9999. Or you you remembered straight. it, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or you can go right to my website, fishingwithsalty.com, and I'm on all social media platforms as either Fishing With Salty or Salty Sportsman. Sounds good, man. That's my left hand, hold on. Okay, gotta do a, a real handshake. Right there. <laughs> Dead fish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, so uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check them out. Check out all the social media stuff. I I'll have it in the link. In the, 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 I'll have the link in the description below. If you like this video, if you like this angler series, guys, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And uh, if you want to be a part of it, shoot me an email. I'll tell you what to do. Submit the footage to me, and let's get you on uh, Angler Spotlight. I just want to know one thing, guys. Does he get any better than sight casting Snook? <laughs> Look at this Snook, guys. The Snook was coming right up along the shoreline. I cast, I presented that bait right in front of him, and he just ate. If you guys want to go sight cast and snook, hey, book a trip with me, fishingwithsalty.com.
slay with a passion. They say I be swagging, they slay in fashion. Feel like King Arthur, I just slay the dragon. My jig on the bottom, I ain't even snagging. Slay like a savage, we're slicking the best.